Check out the 1954 film Desiree. It's a fascinating story filled with love, politics, and historical drama set in 18th century France. As we dive into the movie, get ready for a mix of funny, shocking, and even sad facts. Have you ever thought about how this movie impacted your life? Or do you remember the first time you watched it? Share your personal stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear about your experiences with the film. Stay tuned for more insights into its making, the cast, and behind-the-scenes stories. So, what's your most special memory related to Desiree? Let us know below. Your stories make this journey even more memorable. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments. Keep watching for more details about Desiree and share your experiences. And remember, your stories matter. Desiree is a classic film from 1954 telling a romantic story set against historical events. The movie follows the life of Desiree Clary, a young woman caught up in the politics of late 18th and early 19th century Europe. She navigates relationships with two powerful men, Napoleon Bonaparte and Jean Baptiste Bernadotte. The story unfolds across France and various European cities, showing the opulence and drama of the Napoleonic era. Amidst war and political turmoil, Desiree faces love, loyalty, and her own pursuit of happiness. The main characters include Desiree herself, depicted as a strong and compassionate woman. Napoleon Bonaparte is shown as a charismatic but ambitious leader, while Jean Baptiste Bernadotte is a dashing soldier whose love shapes their lives. The film features beautiful costumes, grand sets, and sweeping cinematography, transporting viewers to another time. Desiree's emotional journey, intertwined with historical events, captivates audiences and has earned critical acclaim and awards over the years. The movie is a must-watch for lovers of romance and historical drama. In his film debut, he found his favorite role in a movie that would later tie back to his portrayal of Stanley Kowalski. Though initially playing Stanley, he would later take on the character of Napoleon in the same movie. The story intertwines with historical events surrounding Jean Bernadotte's unexpected rise to Crown Prince of Sweden, a position he attained due to his kindness towards Swedish prisoners. Despite not being the first choice, circumstances led to his appointment, shaping the course of history in unexpected ways. In the movie, Merle Obron, a talented actress, faced a tough moment when she got a facial burn. They had to be careful with the camera angles during filming to hide the injury. But she kept going and did her job well, showing how professional she was. Marlon Brando, known for being very good at acting and taking his work seriously, agreed to do a big role in the film, even though he already promised to do something else. This shows how dedicated he was to the project. Louis Jordan, a famous actor, was also thought about for the part of the French emperor, which added some interesting choices to the casting. In the end, the actors all worked together well, each bringing their own special talents and charm to the movie. This gave audiences something to remember. This look behind the scenes shows the problems and successes they had while making the film. It helped make the movie special and memorable. In 1954, there was a movie called Desiree that went through some changes in its director. At first, Noel Coward was supposed to direct it, but Marlon Brando, who played the lead role, wasn't happy with the replacement, Henry Koster. The story is about a woman who becomes the Queen of Sweden and is known as Queen Desideria, although she never actually used that name publicly. Neither she nor her husband learned much Swedish except for the word calm, which means come in English. Years later, Marlon Brando criticized his own acting in the movie, calling it superficial. To sum up, the movie Desiree had a change in directors from Noel Coward to Henry Coster, with Marlon Brando not being pleased about it. The main character, after becoming Queen of Sweden, was called Queen Desideria, but she didn't use that title publicly. The couple didn't learn Swedish well, except for one word. Brando later said his own acting in the movie was not great. Desiree, a movie from 1954 directed by Henry Koster, has an average shot length of about 15 seconds, showing each scene quickly and clearly. In early 1953, there were talks in Hollywood about Audrey Hepburn possibly starring alongside Marlon Brando as Desiree Clary. However, the director struggled because Brando didn't seem committed to his role. Surprisingly, the movie did better at the box office than Brando's other film from 1954, On the Waterfront. This success showed how well Costa directed and how good the actors were, making Desiree an important movie in history. Director Henry Koster, unbeknownst to Daryl F. Zanuck, had a keen interest in Napoleon, which led him to helm the film. Montgomery Clift declined the role of Napoleon. 
The film delves into the life of Napoleon through the eyes of Desiree, portraying her relationship with him. It explores historical events and personal dynamics, offering insight into Napoleon's character and the era in which he lived. Coster's direction, coupled with Cliff's absence, resulted in a unique perspective on Napoleon's life. The narrative unfolds through Desiree's experiences, providing a fresh angle on familiar historical events. The film's focus on character relationships and historical accuracy distinguishes it from other depictions of Napoleon. Its exploration of Desiree's perspective adds depth to the story, making it a notable addition to the genre. In the 1954 film Desiree, there was a tragic incident during production. A fire broke out unexpectedly on set, causing a lot of damage. It was a scary situation for everyone involved, and it created a lot of problems. The fire damaged the set and messed up the filming schedule. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew didn't give up. They worked really hard to fix everything and keep the movie going. It showed how unpredictable making movies can be. The completed movie isn't just a film, it's a symbol of overcoming tough times. It reminds us that filmmaking is a journey with ups and downs, and it's all thanks to the dedication of those involved. The movie, with its compelling story and the determination shown by its creators, serves as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of filmmaking a journey filled with challenges and victories, all captured by those committed to their craft. In the 1954 movie Des Array, a tragic incident occurred involving the actress who played Queen Marie Antoinette. While filming, she received news of her husband's sudden death in a car accident, which deeply impacted her performance. This event added a layer of sadness to her portrayal of the doomed queen. Directed by Henry Coster, the movie follows the journey of Desiree Clary, who rises from a humble background to become the Queen of Sweden. It stars Marlon Brando as Napoleon Bonaparte and Gene Simmons as Desiree. The film delves into Desiree's romantic relationships with Napoleon and her eventual marriage to Jean Baptiste Bernadotte, who later becomes King Charles XIV John of Sweden. Despite its historical setting and grand scale, the movie received mixed reviews from critics. Some praised the performances, while others criticized its historical accuracy and pacing. Overall, the 1954 movie Desiree remains a significant portrayal of historical figures, offering insight into the turbulent era of Napoleon Bonaparte and the individuals whose lives intertwined with his. In 1954, a movie called Desiree hit theaters, telling the story of the Frenchwoman Desiree Clary. Despite having big-name actors and an interesting plot, it didn't get good reviews. This surprised and disappointed many who worked on it. The movie follows Desiree's life, showing her relationships with important people like Napoleon Bonaparte and Jean Baptiste Bernadotte. It traces her journey from a regular merchant's daughter to becoming Queen of Sweden, exploring love, ambition, and power along the way. One thing that stands out about the film is its careful attention to historical accuracy. The costumes and sets really make you feel like you're in early 19th century Europe. The camera work also does a great job of showing the grandeur of the time. Despite its sad history and initial reception, Desiree is still remembered as an important historical drama. It gives viewers a peek into the exciting yet turbulent life of its main character, reminding us of the complexities of being human.